folks, welcome to another episode of How To. Today's How To video is how to clean your dog's ears. We got Apollo here, he's a two-year-old German Shepherd and uh, he's been part of our board and train program for about three weeks now and I wanted to take you guys through the process of how we clean dog's ears. Um, no need to take your dog to the vet to have their ears cleaned. Um, part of what we're going to teach here today is going to encompass not just how you clean their ears, but everything that builds up to the ability to have control over your dog so that you can clean their ears. Uh, and I'll put this into perspective real quick. If your dog won't let you clean his ears at home in a in his mind a safe and relaxed environment, when you take him to the vet and they take your dog to the back, um, trust me, there's nothing magical they're doing back there to get your dog under control. They're getting three or four strong vet techs, putting a muzzle on your dog, and manhandling your dog into a submissive position, and cleaning their ears that way. Uh, that works. I've seen it done. Um, but I think you guys should go through the process at home and get control of your dogs at home so that, A, you don't have to pay the vet a hundred something dollars to clean your dog's ears, and uh, B, it's, it's less stressful. So. I've never cleaned his ears before. In fact, I don't know if his ears have ever been cleaned in his entire life. He's not going to like it, but I'm not hurting him. Um, all we're simply going to do, these are the uh, products we're going to use. Simply use some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, cotton balls. Uh, the trick on the cotton balls, depending on your size, the size of your dog and his ear canal, um, is how big you want to go with the cotton balls. I don't like to go too small so I don't get like stuck down in there and too big and they won't get down in the crevices. And then paper towels. The only reason I have these paper towels is because I'm going to show you. Something to think about when it comes to dogs ears is that they don't have ready access to like q-tips. They don't have fingers so like, you ever itch your ear or get out of the shower and uh, get a q-tip and clean out the water. They can't do that. So the time that I say so you almost have to clean their ears is after they have a bath because if you're hosing them off in a shower or outside with a hose it's almost inevitable you're going to get water down in their ears and that water sitting in their ears can cause an ear infection but alcohol and I'm no expert on this but alcohol has that evaporating effect so if you put alcohol down in their ear it'll help the water to evaporate so the other thing we do with dogs is because they don't have fingers one of the favorite things that dogs like and I'm going to show it to you now is rubbing the inside of their ear because it's like an itchy spot for them and it's a spot they can never reach on their own so great way to bond with your dog and I've never done it with him because I've seen how yucky his ears are so I haven't been like real motivated to do that but today's the day that we're gonna show you how it's done so here we are we're having a good time I'm rubbing him he's liking it usually you'll hear them actually like like uh, moan for lack of a better word they like it so much so He'll lean into it, and all I'm doing is sticking my finger down in his ear and just rubbing around. But watch how nasty my ear, my finger comes out of his ear. Watch how nasty this is. Hope the camera's picking that up. We're not too close, but it's it's muck. And look, this finger's clean. We'll go in again. So the other reason that I do this with dogs is not only do they love it, but we get a picture of his eyes. He's not pulling away at all. He loves this. They usually lean into you. But I also am pulling out to check. If you do this regularly with your dog with just your fingers, A, you'll know, that's why the paper towels are here, A, you'll know, um, well, they'll like it. We already covered that. But, but B, you're going to keep an eye on if there's any muck building up in there. So we could just tell by looking that, that it was not looking so hot down in there. Let me get a, a light so you can see. But you shouldn't see all this black nasty stuff down in there it's no good so we're gonna clean all that out right now and I'm gonna show you how it's done so first things first we have him on a pinch collar that's because I can pretty much guarantee you he's gonna try to buck run away I mean we'll see how bad it gets but he needs to be under control and let this we'll assume this is his first time this has ever happened so if he tries to buck or we call buck the system and run away or act foolish and gets away with it then it's going to be twice as hard next time twice as hard when we go to do the other ear so we're going to put all that stuff uh, to rest now we're going to eliminate any bad behaviors that might pop up keep him under control and uh, clean his ears once the dogs are comfortable with it they actually enjoy it um, but again this is probably his first time so I'm going to walk you through how we do this it helps to have a helper but my helpers filming 
So what we do, we just take the cap of the alcohol, get it all filled up to the top. Now, sometimes I actually do this. See, he's smelling it. I let them smell it so they already know what's coming, you know? Uh, then I might do a mouth hold, which he's very comfortable with. Again, something we've worked on prior to this. And then I just go in. Just make sure his ears open and dump. Didn't bother him at all. Now, then I take my finger. Now he's not liking it much. Doesn't burn unless he's got an open sore or something in there. But he shouldn't. And then I just take my finger, run it around. That's all. The most discomfort they have is just there's something wet in their ear. Then you could, you could take a paper towel. I usually use cotton balls, but since we have paper towels here, you can go in there and just work your finger around. Not too deep. And then here we'll use the cotton ball. Cotton balls are better. I just wanted to show you because the paper towels are a little abrasive. You could also, for dogs that don't have too much mess going on down there, you can get the cotton ball wet, go in, and just clean it out. This is the part they actually like. Look at him. Look at his face. Loving it. Yeah. And then take a look at your uh, cotton ball. All right. And then we are going to continue to do this. Um, his ears are extra dirty, so he might need like a double dose. Um, but you want to keep going in with those cotton balls while it's still wet in there. Just kind of working around in circular motion. I'm not going deep, super deep. You'll get a feel for it. If you go too deep, they will uh, let you know. They're going to give you a verbal uh, cue. They're going to wince because just like you take a Q-tip and you stick it too far in your ear, it won't kill you, but it doesn't feel good. So same thing. Um, we're going to give him another little, maybe about a half of a cap. Probably the most important thing is, don't drop this in their eye, because that wouldn't feel good. So just make sure they're being nice, calm, relaxed. Open up the ear and drop it straight down. Right down in there. Work it around with your finger again. Now I'm going to kind of hit the spots that maybe I missed. And when I do this, I like to work like as deep as I can go, you know, safely, and then on the way out. What I don't want to do is push stuff that's towards the top down lower, so I'm going down deep. Look, it's already getting a little better, a little better. Nice, we need a new fresh one. Work it around, and I'm kind of sliding up as I come out. kind of working all the all the different walls of his ear so to speak get like the back wall and pull up side wall I mean look his ears are already looking much much better getting most of that gunk out now if you were like come here and let's film this this is just nasty right here so look at that just I don't know how long that's been like that but that's the kind of stuff to give your dog an ear infection but man it's already looking so much better yeah if you wanted to go a little extra you get a q-tip and go down in there but he's being very cooperative even better than i thought he would be if they're being cooperative man you can take your time with a q-tip and uh, really clean in those those crevices um another way you could do this we already got i'm pretty happy with the one ear I will show you how we could do the other ear. And also, just to give you a different op option, we'll use the uh, place board as, our, uh, as a tool. Hey, Apollo, place. Good boy. So, the place board is just going to kind of help isolate him. This is even like a tool that if your dog's super comfortable with the place board, you bring the place board with you to the vet. It's super light. It can actually fold up very easily. Um, like, you can disassemble this in about. 30 seconds reassemble in about a minute or two uh, we're gonna just use this as a, as a way to um, I just isolate him and I'm gonna put him in a like a side oh kind of a side submissive state if he'll let me of course that's not the side I want but since we're here it would look like this again something we've worked on with him before that if he's in this position he must stay in this position and you know you can work this the ear the same way this will help with dogs that aren't going to just sit there and let you mess around with their ear. If you are comfortable enough with your dog to get him in this position 
and you have a helper, you can literally just lay your entire weight on top of them. This is exactly what they'd be doing in the back of the vet's office. Um, I mean, I, it would be a little silly for them to tranquilize your dog or give him meds to make him pass out so they can clean his ears, but I'm sure there's some nasty dogs they have to do that with. But basically, they would muzzle him, and then a couple of vet techs would grab his paws, pull him out, and just lay their weight on him. And someone would hold him here, and someone would get in there and clean his ears. Again, if you have to do this with your dog, I'd rather you do it at home with someone they know versus taking them to the vet and it's super stressful, muzzle, the whole thing. But uh, let's get that other ear cleaned up. You can, when they're in this position, actually roll them over. I don't always like doing that with bigger breeds because the potential to flip their stomach is there. But um, he did not eat this morning, so he has an empty stomach, so I'm comfortable with that. So now he's in the right position. Let me grab what I need. Get the alcohol, I need the cap, and cotton balls. So here we go. So there's the potential that stay. The potential that he'll want to kick up. I'm okay actually with him getting up because his natural inclination is going to be to want to shake his ears. So if he wants to shoot up to do that, I'm going to let him, but then we're going to go right back in this state. I'm rubbing it around again. Again, make sure, sure I didn't pour that in his eye. He's being cool. I'm going to get down in there and kind of sop up the extra. And the reason you're doing this with alcohol is it's going to evaporate on its own. Look at that. Disgusting. <laughs> He's more concerned about the camera than the... the yeah, the cotton balls and him, me rubbing his ears. Again, most dogs, if you're doing this right, they actually give like a moan like sounds weird but they really like it it feels good it's like a, a spot they've never had itched before so we're going to do maybe another little half a cap and uh, all you're looking for is to get your cotton ball in there and it come out the same way it looked when it went in pretty much clean so and that, we're not looking for perfection again if you do this on the regular once a month once every couple months um, it's going to get so much easier. The dog will actually look forward to it. Look at this. I think that's my still we're like number two or three. But you got to keep getting in there. It's really gross. And then I find, if you go back to what I started in the, earlier in the video, look, it's already getting better. If, uh, if you just go down there with your fingers, like every day you're petting your dog, you just go down, make sure your fingers are somewhat clean. You go down there and, look, he's loving it. He's enjoying himself. Right, buddy? Look at that. That's a smile. They say, do dogs smile? That's what I would call a, a doggy smile. So, still, still yucky. Um, maybe another tool to have would be a flashlight so you can really make sure you're getting all of it. I mean, I definitely, yeah, if you can get a shot, there's still some nasty pockets down in there. Let me get that hair out of your way. See that? This little crevices? we got to get in there. So pretty gross this would pretty much be a, a situation where I'd say get a q-tip again with the q-tip we're not trying to go way down in the ear canal we're using the q-tip to get the folds in the like mid to upper part of his ear so I'm gonna keep working on it um, I don't want to make this video too much longer than it already is but that's basically how we do it the keys to success are having the right tools we're talking about alcohol and cotton balls q-tips maybe I uh, would not try Q-tips unless your dog is 100% relaxed like this. Again, we've been working with this dog for three weeks on a bunch of other stuff, control work. Um, but it all leads up to situations like this where if we have to take him to the vet, we got to check his mouth, we got to clean his ears. You need a dog that listens to you, that is comfortable around you, um, more importantly, respects you. Right? Like, I'm sure he'd love to get up right now, but he knows he can't because I told him not to. So, once you have that, the rest is easy. Trying to do this with a dog that doesn't respect you, that thinks he's the alpha, good luck. He's not going to lay down for you. He's going to fight you. Um, so that's why it's worth putting in that extra work in the beginning. Um, using tools like the pinch collar in this case. Like We don't even have to use it, but it's there should we have needed it. Uh, having a leash handy. The trick though is follow through. Like Once you commit to doing this, just make it happen. Having someone there to help you hold the dog down if you need to. It's good. It, it, even if the dog fights you through it the first time, meaning you really have to just do everything you can to hold him down, 
the next time will be easier you know you may still have to hold them down the second time you do it a month later but by the third fourth fifth time they're gonna be like this because they just learned they're not allowed up until they calm down and that's probably the other key is we'll just pretend for a minute that we were done I'm gonna go back and clean a little more but if he were bucking right now trying to get up trying to get up that's the exact last time that's the last time that I would you know give into that and let him be free even if we were completely done right now and he was I didn't need him down anymore the reason he needs to stay down is until he stops bucking so let's just stay for a minute he was bucking he was bucking I'm holding I'm holding I wait till he relaxes ideally a hundred percent which he is well, he may not be happy but he's he's very loose right no stiff there's no stiffness in his legs and when we're there we'll say free and he's allowed to get up free come on Bubba you're up let's go good boy that's when you let him up so anyways I hope you guys found this video educational uh, go check your dog's ears out right now remember we cleared that first one this fingers pretty clean we'll go in now do the finger check I'm rubbing it look they like it and then I come out and I check and look look how much nicer that came out this time you know maybe my fingernails aren't the cleanest to begin with but that's a lot better than when we started and now when I'm petting him and I'm loving on him I can give them that extra love they love when when you give them the ear rub absolutely love it so anyway folks thanks for watching uh, make sure to like share subscribe check out our other how-to videos on dog training and uh, ways to take care of your dog and uh, we will see you on the next video see you say bye Bye folks, look at my clean ears. Woo!